Si Stoudemire ang ikalawang former NBA superstar na nag-retire sa NBA ngayong off-season pagkatapos si San Antonio Spurs legend Tim Duncan. Hall of Fame worthy ba si Stoudemire tulad ni Duncan? Para pag-usapan yan, kasama natin ang basketball analyst and blogger na si Enzo Floho. Enzo, welcome back to The Score. Hey, Teeds. Alrighty, interesting question. And yeah. you know, it's a nice career to look back at. Itong si Amari Stoudemire na alam natin sumikat. The Phoenix Suns, yes. together with Steve Nash, uh, Sean Marion, Sean Marion, Rajah Bell. Yes. They were a contender then. Seven seconds or less. They were called. Parang kinapus ng sila against the Spurs yes. a couple times that they could have made the finals. Yeah. Um, but then he moved on to New York. So when you look back, when when right now at least for a guy your age, na you must have seen <laughs> most of him. Yeah. Anong naalala mo pag sinabing Amari Stoudemire at pag sinabing yung peak of his career? The well, best you of him. you remember a guy who didn't play like a traditional big man because no, he I played. Know. Um, facing the basket, yep. and he he wasn't known for his low post game, mm -hmm. spin moves, fadeaway, mga ganyan. He was known, you know, as a guy who set good picks, right. and he received passes really well, and finished strong around the you basket. Know. You remember him for his dunks, um, whether it's off a pass from Steve Nash mm -hmm. or a fast break, madamis um, ng and that's most of the highlights ni Amari right. Stoudemire. Mi yung may talagang ini in your face right, siya, right. right there at the grill. Dun just sumiga talaga na for me he was a powerful and Quick dunker. Yes. Kasi yung talun niya, mabilis eh. Oh. It's rare that you have a big man that can elevate so fast and so, and finish so powerfully. Um, and he's got the body of a Carl Malone, yeah. you know? So at, a little Sobrang bit smaller, he's about 6'7", 6'8". No, he's not about 6'9". He's listed as 6'10", but he looks and smaller than that. He's, he's no, no way he's 6'10". Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, you know, there were times that they would play small ball-ish with him at the center or the power forward center, yeah. right? So, but then just a then with the Mike D'Antoni system, he flourished under that. And oh. then he moved on to New York. Where he actually met Mike D'Antoni again, that's right? He's still there, he's still there. Because that off-season, they were fresh from having another big run in the playoffs in Phoenix Suns. Right. And then he surprised everyone mm. when he moved on to New York yep. to join Mike D'Antoni. Because I think New York was trying to lure... They, that was the summer of LeBron. Eh. Ah. So I think they were trying to lure LeBron to New York. Right. And one uh, of the pieces to lure him was, was they have Amari. Amari there. Oh, no. Correct. Well, we but know, it didn't pan out. Yeah. So we eventually. know LeBron didn't go to New York. <laughs> but I remember there was so much talk about it from starting 2008. Pa lang. Yes. I remember I was in New York in 2008 or 2009. There was a New York magazine that had a cover of LeBron in the Knicks jersey. I kid you not, they were so hyped wow. that they really thought they could get him. Oh my they God. They really thought they could get him. They had the money and everything, yeah. right? The money, the, the culture, plan was there, the city. And he loved New York. Yeah. But anyway, this is okay. This is about starting back. <laughs> so when, when he got to New York, what happened? I mean, is it just the injuries that really slowed him down? Or or did the game change that his game couldn't fit anymore? Na, wala na, yung, yung power and speed niya hindi na masyado naging effective. Actually, if you look at his skill set, no, para he'd be He'd be a pretty good fit for the way the game is mm -hmm. being played right now. Fast-paced, uh, small ball is the name of the game for a lot yep. of teams. Yeah. He's the perfect center for that right kind of now, offense, yeah. right? Para right. If he, at his if, peak, if ha? If at his see, peak, yeah. yeah. A problem I mean, he had a good first season with New York. Mm -hmm. He was able to, with Carmelo Anthony, I think they reached the Eastern Conference Finals against Miami, if I'm not mistaken, in, in, that, per in, a, mm -hmm. in, a, in that particular season. But okay. after that, wala na talagang has multiple surgeries. Mm -hmm. Ang pinaka marami ng games nila row with New York, I think it was 78 games in that first season. Mm -hmm. After noon, wala na masyado. And talagang, because of those injuries, we were not able to see Stoudemire at his best right. in the Big Apple. Well, it's interesting though still that amidst the fact that his last two seasons were not heavy in playing time and of course not heavy in scoring and even the injury laden seasons and yet he still averaged career high career numbers of 19 points yes. a game and 8 rebounds a game that's pretty good pretty good considering that may dip na yun in the past you know, handful right. of years oh. uh, a little under 19 points a little mm -hmm. under 8 rebounds uh, a, ball, a, ball, a ball game so still very good average yes. yeah. he's, a, he's a, a double double guy that's why yeah. he, they call him the stat stat, stat yeah you right? nickname is stat yeah, he, he's he a stat stuffer yeah that's yes, what he yes, does yes, no? okay. so it's still very impressive and to you know when you consider na at the end of his career you average minutes niya per game actually mm -hmm. buma bad into about 20 minutes lang. Okay. And to be able to put up nearly 19 points and 8 rebounds in only yeah. 20 minutes per game that's saying a lot about Ngayon, uh, with the question raised at the beginning, we've seen other NBA legends retire without a championship, Yun lang. but with some all-star appearances, yeah. and they've been franchise players of their teams, and they've made the Hall of Fame. Yes. Is that the case for Amari <laughs> Stoudemire? Is, I mean, this will be a hot debate. I mean, yeah. If, well, you'd have to look at his body of work, definitely. Yeah. Not just his last few years with New York. 
um, not just his seven seconds or less years with, with Phoenix, his entire body of work. Yeah. You have a guy who won Rookie of the Year, right? Um, six All Star appearances. Mm -hmm. I think uh, five times in the All NBA team. Uh, I think once in the All NBA first team. Mm -hmm. So magaling talaga si Amari Stoudemire. Never played in the NBA Finals. Never won a title. So those are definitely notches on the cons yeah. side for putting him in the Hall of Fame. Ako ang ang nagpapapigil sa akin to put him in that Hall of Fame uh, selection mm -hmm. is that when I look back at his career, he was really just a uh, very effective on one end of the of the of the court. Mm -hmm. He was a very good offensive, offensive player, player. Very difficult to stop. And as you say, this is blocking shots. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> but he was, he was known for that. I mean, a career high in, yeah. in, in shot blocks, only one point two okay. per ball game. And so, he wasn't really yeah. known for for his defense. Right. So that's what's lang. kind of hindering me okay. from saying yes. He's a sure for, surefire Hall of Famer. And because he's very athletic, but yes. if he wanted to be a great defender. Kaya niya if he oh. wanted to. Oh. But again, I mean, kasi kung if you look back at his time with Phoenix, especially, mm -hmm. they weren't really, as a team, they weren't really known for defense. Yeah, eh? They, they were to all about outrunning yeah. and outscoring the other team. Okay. Well, um, now, one, another interesting move is, you know, he spent a year with Miami and with Dallas. Yeah. He wanted to retire as a Nick. I mean, no, talk I about lang. that. Who's done that? <laughs> Sign with your former team for a min veteran minimum and the same day, Announce your retirement. What are your oh, off, the, off the top of my head, I can't really recall anybody Diba? who's done that in recent years. And if you ask me, parang, you know, if I were Amari Sotomayor, I'd do that you know, in Phoenix. Because that's where Ako I din. spent yeah. most of my career, the best years of yeah. my career were in Phoenix. And it, I, for me, it's a little strange that he would choose New York. But I guess... But I guess I guess he loves a city. He loves a team. Yeah, he loves, he loves a, uh, uh, organization. Culture, yeah, and and I guess that's that's a big reason why he chose eventually yeah. to end his days as a New York. Ibang fan based in New York yeah. uh, compared to Phoenix. Siguro mahal na mahal niya. At feeling yeah. niya minahal din siya ng fans yeah. in New York. He must have had a really good time. I mean, I mean, when New York fans they'll either love you or hate you. There's very little middle ground. <laughs> yes, right? and, and, uh, and they loved him. They a lot. loved him a lot. Yeah. So hence he wants to repay them somehow. He got the most money there. Yeah, anyways. there you that go. Too. There you go. <laughs> he got the love from New York. So anyway, Enzo, maraming salamat. You want to continue the debate with Enzo at Hoop, not to Twitter. Maraming salamat. Thank See you. See you again soon. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.